you have an SX70 or 680 or just any folding type SLR Polaroid camera, man, that's a mouthful. And does it look like this? or does it not work? Or do you wanna customize it to better fit your personality? Polar doesn't make cameras like this anymore. I mean, they never actually made a camera that looked like this to begin with, but you have the option today to do that. You see, you're not stuck with a broken camera or a camera that's just like everybody else's. In fact, there are some companies slash individuals out there that refurbish your cameras and create custom accessories for your cameras. And so today I'm going to show you three companies slash individuals offer refurbishment, accessories, and a lot more. Such as full manual control over your SX70 folding cameras. It's crazy. More on that coming up. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Okay, so I've got two cameras here. My SLR 680, AKA the Beast, and a SX70 sonar camera. I'm gonna be sending both of those cameras off to Dennis over at Chromatic Parts to have some work done. And not only am I sending it off to get refurbished and fixed up, I have a couple of really cool, unique replacement parts that I'll be using for this camera right here, the SX70 sonar. It's literally being held together by tape, so the fine people over at Polo Studios has sent over a replacement housing, which is a kind of clear translucent purple that, which reminds me of like the Nintendo 64 controllers when I was a kid, had to have it, super cool. And Polo Dress has sent over some replacement leather and skin. It's gonna be really cool. We got chromatic parts, we got Polo Dress, and we got Polo Studios coming in and uh, helping me get this baby refurbished. So let's uh, get this packed up and send off to Dennis. So one disclaimer, I am not being paid at all. I genuinely want to put these guys in front of you because I think what they're doing for the community is excellent. And I think it's very important to be transparent about this stuff, especially it's you know actually kind of the law and to be compliant with the YouTube community guidelines. But still, either way, I wanted to be transparent with you on that. So with that out of the way, I did get my cameras back from Dennis. However, I did run into a small issue. Not Dennis's fault, nope. Dennis doesn't live in the United States. He lives in the wonderful land of United Kingdom. Shipping over there it goes through customs. And when it came back to me, I actually did an unboxing over on my uh, Patreon page in the Spitfire Club. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. I was excited if you couldn't tell. Um, but what I hadn't noticed was when I opened it, I didn't look the camera over thoroughly. And when I went to go out and shoot the camera, I noticed this gaping hole in the camera. Customs had opened to inspect the box and they didn't know how to open the camera and they damaged it. I had to send it back to Dennis. Dennis was amazing. He was willing to pay for it to have it shipped back to him. I didn't do that because it wasn't his fault. I wanna let you guys know if you do ship, Overseas, there is a chance your box could get opened. It could happen, but the chances are extraordinarily slim. When he did send the camera back to me, there was a little note that he left uh, on the camera. So if Customs did open it, they wouldn't have instructions on how to open the camera. And I think Dennis, that should be standard practice just in case uh, for the future. But anyway, that's my two cents. So now with all that out of the way, there was a lot of things done to this camera that I'm really excited to share with you. But instead of me explaining how and what was done to this, why not let the man himself explain what he did? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? What exactly did you do to this thing? Because I know it's had the works done to it. Main thing is it needed a full refurb. Everything gets torn down, shut, everything taken apart. The soldering's redone where it's dry. Um, everything gets lubricated so it feels smooth. It should be like, really crisp yeah no it sounds then, great when i when i eject the photo uh it yeah. sounds way it just sounds way different than i was expecting like oh it sounds like a brand new camera this is essentially the new brains there's a bluetooth module new digital sensor so you pretty much have full manual control over the camera uh, you have like your self timer mode i haven't been able to mess around with it too much i literally just got the camera back so yes. um i can't wait to dive more into it and experiment with it I love the fact that it's an app control and not an, an a, which is weird for me to say, because normally I like 
the buttons on the thing. I've gone on record saying that. But in this scenario, it's not an external piece of tech that you have to put on like Mint does. This is built into the camera, which I think is pretty amazing. How much is it to get the, uh, the manual mod done? So the actual purchase of this board, the installation, and then the high-speed camera shutter tune, uh, that is £159. And that's always coupled with the refurbishment of the camera, which is either 159 for an S670 or 179 for a 680. And in point of perspective, this essentially is a contender, if not better, you know, um, option to mint. Mint will charge you a thousand dollars for the same type of thing. That's that's not bad, man. That's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, it's, I think it offers a bit more since um, one eight thousandth of a second isn't offered by mint. Uh, then you go up to one two thousand. This, like I said, this thing you've done the works to it. It also has another special little, little hacker mod that you've done to it, and that's uh, the the counter. So talk about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So obviously we don't know. We don't shoot ten shots anymore. We got eight. Um. It's just a bit of. It's cheap. It's it's a bit of easy use. I have actually sent two other cameras to you over the last. I don't know, six months or so. Like, here's mm. the first one. And I sent in the Beast to have done. But I wanted to talk about this because this also has the manual control option on it as well. It's not just the sonars. You, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but you can actually have this done on any folding cameras, correct? Uh, yes, except the 690 because there is a different... Yeah, there's a different set of electronics. It wouldn't be compatible. But yeah, um, any manual or sonar or your 680s, totally compatible. This hasn't been mentioned so far in the video, and I totally forgot to mention this and clarify. This has been converted to shoot 600 film natively. However, inside the app, since this has manual control, you can kick this over to shoot SX70 film as well. And it'll work in the 680 camera too. It's pretty sweet. And once you set it to SX70, you can close your phone and still shoot SX70 film for as long as you want until you switch it back. How was the housing from Polis Studio? Like, was mm. it easy to install? Uh, how a was good overall with that? Yeah, um, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. Mm -hmm. In in some areas, it's a little bit tight, and um, so they've re redesigned a few particular aspects of the housing. It's a bit different. They've made it stronger for sure, which is great. Otherwise, it feels very, very tight. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the type of plastic quite hard compared to the original one. It's not bad. Um, I would probably use it again. Now, if somebody were to purchase this on their own, would, are you able to install that for them if they don't feel confident enough to do it? Or is, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So going to your services, going through you know the mods that you've done, what type of uh, warranty do you offer to your clients? Yeah, so it's essentially a one-year warranty on any specific work that's been done. So for example, if you get the manual mod, so the actual board will have a fully one-year warranty uh, since it gets a refurbishment. Essentially, the whole camera itself will have a year's warranty besides the things that nobody can help. For example, if um, your gear, you know, disintegrates and one of the tooth teeth fly off, um, that's not covered under warranty. But we're gonna we're gonna look after you, so it's it won't be too bad if that happens. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to put you in front of my audience. And I'll just put anybody. There's been a lot of people that have been trying to get me to use some other people. Like, hey, why don't you try mm -hmm. these people or try this guy or whatever? But I'm like, I don't know them or I've heard questionable <laughs> things. You know, or I have talked to them, but there might be a little too like blunt, straightforward, which isn't necessarily bad, but also not everyone will receive that well. Like I'm fine yeah. with people that want to be straightforward and blunt with me, but not everyone wants that. So like I'm very picky about who I put in front of, you know, the audience. People have been telling me that they've been thoroughly happy with your work, sent a camera to you and have had it back in their hands one week later. So that's great and you're doing great work and I want to continue to have you on here working with uh, basically the approved uh, uh, what would be uh, modder slash repairer repair <laughs> services of the cameras on the Just on the Chris YouTube channel. Awesome. <laughs> Stamp well, thank you very much for the kind words. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who sends me a message and mentions Chris is going to be 10% off all services and um, just anything that I have at the moment. Three months from the video. Well, that's just really kind. Really kind of you. Appreciate that. And it's right. always lovely chatting with you. I know you're a busy, man. Get back to working on those cameras. And uh, I'll see you soon, man. Awesome. Thank you very much for having me, Chris. Good to chat.
<laughs> this thing's so cool. If you guys want to see the full unedited, well, mostly unedited interview that I did with Dennis, you can check it out in the Spitfire Club right now. We went way more in depth on how the manual stuff works, the camera modification part process. He fine tunes the camera to work with them. It's, cra it's crazy. You got it, consider checking it out. Link is in the description. Head on over to this Bitfire Club if you want to see that. This is more just of a bringing awareness of these guys, these companies, of what can be done to your cameras. If you want to see a full actual review of the manual mod on both the SLR 680 as well as the Sonar, uh, I will be doing a video on that coming very, very soon. So consider subscribing if you want to see a full review on the manual mod. And thank you so much, Dennis, for offering that discount uh, for services. How cool is that? But not only that, Pola Studio and Pola Dress have also offered a special discount code to you guys for watching this video. So if you wanna save some cash and get some cool and premium products, consider checking the links in the description and get yourself some cool accessories as well as repair some Dennis. What do you guys think? Are you gonna use their services? Are you gonna get some of their stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat. And also, if you do, let me know what combination of accessories you're gonna do to your camera. I'm always looking to see some cool designs and thought put into their camera customizations. If you post them on Instagram, be sure to tag me. I wanna see them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.